Right now, there are over 450 wildfires in Alaska. Planted on fire part three. These fires have burned nearly 1 million acres, including 166 fires in just one zone that's bigger than the state of Texas. Evacuations are underway and we'll keep you updated as that situation progresses. Shifting a bit, Canada isn't doing much better. Spring and early summer of 2025 were on track to be the second worst wildfire season in 30 years, right behind 2023. Smoke from these fires in Canada traveled all the way to Europe. And now in Siberia, it gets a little worse. Provinces like Saka and Tuva are in the states of emergency and the total area burned is already 50% larger than last year, even though there were fewer fire ignitions. That means fires are getting more intense, not just more frequent. Now, what's fueling this? Record heat, droughts, and explosions of lightning strikes across all of the Arctic. These are all symptoms of a region that's now warming four times faster than the rest of the planet. These fires are different. They burn deep into the carbon-rich soil, creating what's called zombie fires that smolder underground and reignite year after year. They release ancient carbon, darken ice with soot, and speed up melting, and accelerate the climate crisis in a deadly feedback. This isn't just a problem in the Arctic. This is a planetary emergency. The fire season is longer, the smoke travels further, and the damage is permanent. We cannot leave things to politicians and business leaders. As a species, we need to wake up.